Well, we are back. And we are firmly in the focusing on liberation missions up phase. Just want to remind myself one more time of the five-man squad we want to go do that uh, radio time mission with. We are going to hope that Mad Doc and Brannigan make it out of their mission without getting wounded. And then either Stobby and Majid can be ready in like five days. Roberts and Madassa also ready in about five days. So there are options. It's 11 has got up there as well now, but he's out for 11 days. We are getting Waldo back, which is nice. Now, he doesn't have a friend to bond with, though. Uh, Iliad, Kale. We can always bond Pedersen to Waldo when he comes back. I think that was the plan for a while. We're sitting on 91 intel, which is great. Uh, no intel coming from this here. This is a supply raid, so no intel coming from that. That doesn't give us intel. Setting course for Sector 15, West Asia. I think before the end of the month, we should pop into the black market and just have a look see. That could also be doable with strength too. Oh, I'm really pushing my lads to the limit if I try to do this supply raid as well. It's very important that I get it done. These are some pretty important lads. The thing is, I can always re re-infiltrate for the liberation missions. I'm just thinking in terms of my order of priority. Supply raids, I think, have to be put as a higher priority over liberation missions. This will get Western Europe up to strength three. Western Europe has... Hmm, Lib one has been done. I would have to boost this, though, if I want to do this. That radio tower is just going to have to wait, I think. Tired, tired. So no master sergeants available. This is a hell of a tall ask. Uh, his ledger is nice with rapid fire. Send out the skirmisher. Also, not great. Not great. I'm going to have to let this one go. This, this one would just be a bridge too far. Yeah, this is now when we're really feeling the loss of that squad from episode 84. For West Look, strength 2 to strength 3 just represents one extra pod on that mission. They're not that bad in the greater scheme of things. Long live the resistance. It, it does absolutely suck, though. Just having to let a mission go like that. This is 80 intel. Didn't we get a lower contact cost uh, event? Yeah, 107, okay. So it applied itself to New India. Ninety one Intel, we would need 105 to be able to make contact and still be able to boost. Six. I think I thought that I wouldn't need to boost this. Gets us up to 13. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. Um, just taking a look if there isn't a data pad available, but there is not. Conditioning. Hmm. We could do a nice big old liquidation. Build another radio tower. Where do I need another radio tower? I 
kind of need to jump here to East Asia. Hmm. Uh, black market costs reduced. That could be nice. Studying What's the next one going to cost us? We paid 400 for the first radio tower, so I'm guessing 600 for the second. Five fifty. Do that next month. Okay, cool. Madasa has her negative traits removed. That's very nice. How about a quick bit of training? How long does it take? Infiltrator. her. Ten days. That's a long time. But then again, infiltrator is amazing. It lowers the overall infiltration time by an awful lot. Oh, large units available. Okay, cool. So immediately black market sell some stuff well we've got some supplies waiting here let's get the 250 we need for that i believe large unit infiltration supplies to seven and eight man squads three days to rescue a defector not doable the outcome of this research can only further our advances commander We're disassembling now I don't want to do that. I don't need to do this. I'm sitting on Illyrium cores. We're done with all of the autopsies. Just waiting for two Illyrium cores there. I could do the Black Sight Vial, which opens up the Forge mission. But I don't want to spend the 50 intel right now. So then we're just going to keep grinding away basic research and engineering research for a bit eager to begin, Twelve days for a hidden event One blocked the progress meter. I don't care about that Avenger plotting new course. Actually, that's more than enough. I don't even need to go to the black market could just keep buying scientists. We'll put low on engineers as well. Cool. That's all the tactics paid for. Uh, serpent suit, hair triggers. Everything else needs Illyrium cores. January 24th. We still don't have Warden armor. Kind of amazing. Also, I noticed strength building up in New Mexico. Up to 7. It was 6 a little while ago. So as soon as this hits uh, 13, we're going to switch fully to intel gathering. So I don't need this much supplies next month. We can potentially throw Eastern US and New Brazil fully, and New Mexico fully onto intel gathering. Look up, maybe pick up those supply raids. I mean, look, we're already picking up supply raids here. Zerka Codex, Shock Trooper, Elite Priest, Heavy Mech, Hunter Drone, easy enough. Go get him. Get our boy back! In fact, we still need to get that one shinobi who was kidnapped by the assassin back. <clears throat> so getting Waldo back now means I think we are up to five. Five rangers. And, but we're sitting on four technicals, so we just have to hope that we can pick up a technical as a liberation reward or in the black market. So for the longest time we've been working towards four of each class so we can have four operational squads but of course there's lads wounded all the time so more realistically you want five or even six of each class so you can have up to two of each class wounded at any at any one time Hmm. 
Also, it's kind of cool that we are regularly taking shinobis on missions now. Almost the entirety of the campaign, well, early part, it's been shinobi free. What with the great shinobi culling we had in the first couple of months. I mean, you melee attack one gas canister and uh, things kind of go south. Moving out. We're also getting two recruits as a reward here. I can barely imagine like ever using those recruits though. Maybe we just hold them in reserve. Oh, yeah, I agree with that. And then if a particular ally dies, you know, if I need to replace a particular class. We can then train them up as that class. I actually think that I can hack that drone without breaking stealth. And we might be well placed to do exactly that. What I would love to do is push up and fight in this building and then have Sidorov on this flank. Let's get up on the roof here and have a look see. Uh, but let's keep Sidorov with us for now. I'll worry about throwing him straight off onto the left flank immediately, and then he has line of sight issues and maybe gets caught off guard by himself. That would be no boy, no. Excellent. The hunter drone is moving away. I'm here to end the borrowed time you've all been living on. Risky. As I make a move, then I seem to think about how risky it is, and I'm like, oh god. What have I done? Every time I click, there's the slowdown, and I think, oh god, what have I revealed? Got it. I'm shifting. That should just be the hunter drone back in visual range. Okay, heavy mechan a priest is actually a really decent group of enemies oh, to know. ambush. Maybe Sidorov is very well placed up here, actually. His line of sight issues would be when they are close to him or, you know, underneath him. This isn't bad. Getting it done. Was this the mission which had high numbers of mechanical units? I should have checked. If my ranger has blue screen, then it is that mission. Another hunter drone. Got eyes on a hostile squad. I think I want to take this shot just because it's a nice, easy open one. Hollow targets him. Aftermath can then take on the mech very easily. They could very, very easily path into us, but there's no need to do that. Let's just make sure that our shinobi doesn't get revealed here now. Send him on ahead. Ninety-four percent miss. Perfect start. That's how you start a mission. Fucking unbelievable. You tit. I need to do 18 damage here. I can do 17 to 21. So a precision shot. 
should give me what I need. That's weird. Whoa! Yeah, that I didn't expect. Straight into stasis. Right. Give me this hunter drone hack. Nope. Gremlin loot. Hack reward is... Video feed is... A <laughs> squad site for him. Squad dodge increased, soldier vision increased by two for four turns. Not worth, just overwatch. Did I give Pops covering fire by any chance? I did not. God, it's fucking irritating. I can expect now that on the next turn, someone is going to get put into stasis and maybe mind controlled. I hate elite priests so much. I didn't account for the big crit though, to be honest. If you say so. Got it covered. Stand in, eh? Stand in photography. Hope he runs for it and get over gets overwatched. But see if I had covering fire here, I could have taken a shot there. And hopefully killed him before he applies the stasis. I can't hack the drone because my because my specialist is in stasis. What the fuck, dude? We need to have a chat with Pops here. This dude sucks. At least the shinobi didn't get revealed there. We've got that to be grateful for. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. And now that we're pushing towards the objective, we ought to be able to make contact with more enemies now. It's tempting to just grab that, but that's far too uh, far too aggressive. That is. I'm gonna get Sidorov to within one sprinting distance of evac. I don't want that tree in the way, so I think that's a better option there. I guess that'll be okay. Fucking elite priests, man. Look, at, at, at least it only took the ablative, uh, ablative points away. At least it, it didn't cost me um, so many hit points. It didn't cost me the flawless. Not yet. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. What I want is to be able to hit that codex. That would be best case. Probably see the codex through here. I mean, or maybe here, but then I have to expect that Dubrovsky will be revealed on this turn, if not the following turn. I have no shot. Still can't see the codex. That just feels too dangerous. There's coil rifles and everybody on this squad, pretty much. What's over there? Scanning. 
Let's do this. I've got the loot. If I moved my okay, bloody peasant, cool. So I can grab that drone now. You just take it out. Well, let's try grab it. Like when I grab it. That's more like it. I did have combat protocol available. Oh, I see. I need to do 12 here. That is actually isn't all that certain. Although we can always rely on Marquez to fuck it up somehow. Well done, dude. Finally. Lord. I really hope that I'm going to be able to have Sidorov take a dead eye shot at that codex to one tapper just to start the engagement on that pod. Hunting turns. It's fine. I can't move. This would mean I have two codexes to deal with, but it does take care of a lot of cover. Although it's just it's just going to force that shock trooper to that bit of cover. How about Vitala? Okay, I'll go. Although these lads have now almost certainly made these guys yellow alerted. Do I really care? Let's just kill them and direct fire them. Take this. Yes, it'll split the codex, but I've got a ranger who should be able to hit them. We've got solutions. Great damage. 20 damage. No more. I hit all three. So now I was hoping that props could grapple up here with a cheeky flank on that dude. Probably still can, but it will take a blue move first. That is half cover. Right? Should be. At least now he's hitting his shots. I was going to say critting nicely, but that didn't even appear to be a crit. Uh, VPT here. 19 hit points. Actually, I probably didn't need to do that. I should have checked first whether Dead Eye could one-tap him. Great shot. Really, dude? Can you? Oh, there's the flank. Seventy-nine only. Good. Watch me as I terrorize, torture, and then destroy an entire city. Would really appreciate the proximity sensor ability, my shinobi. We'll get into the building on the next turn. Yes, I see. Yes, I see. Uh oh. Me. <laughs> Me. Shit. Oh God. Shit. Heavy Grenadier. Oh god, these two are getting set on fire, aren't they? Advanced teamwork to Fridge. 
who could do what? Just a grenade shot, not really do much. Fuck, well, rip the shinobi, I think. It doesn't actually do anything, does it? Giving Fridge the ability to launch another grenade. And maybe if I can launch it then, break the roof under the heavy grenade, he then falls into the... No, but I mean, the VIP is right there, so the grenade's not a good option. I've just killed my shinobi, that's all. God damn it. No, not Monty Python. Oh, the dodge! Hopefully he shoots a dozen grenades. Oh, I'm lucky! Thank you, XCOM, for cutting me a break. Dodge an outright miss is better than I had any hope to, uh, any reason to hope for. Only 76, I suppose he has um, hard target. We don't have double shot on Jones, do we? Running and gunning. Running. A shotgun blast and a slash ought to be enough for the officer. And then just a combat protocol should take care of the grenadier. The T1, almost the record. protocol that is increases hacking stack stat i think excellent victory is mine, <laughs> victory is mine. welcome back waldo hell yes buddy hell yes talk about a hero's welcome The emergency life support is actually what saved him because he extended his bleed out timer to where he didn't bleed out before end of the mission. Got it covered. Just shows you, man, the emergency life support for the win. It actually makes me think that uh, ELS, emergency life support, should be one of the PCSs that you prioritize more than anything else in the early game. Because right in the beginning, you can immediately prioritize who are going to be your late game badasses like we did here. And giving him the ELS was the best thing we ever did. He's been knocked down, I think, three times in the campaign. All right, all right. I'm trusting you here. So I no longer feel the need to grab corpses at all now that we're doing so many supply run missions. And I can definitely say going forward I'll be playing without extract corpses. It will make the game harder, but really only in the early game. So the thing is, in this campaign, it took us really quite a long time before we were able to start doing supply raid missions with any kind of uh, reliability. Well done, boys. Flawless. MVP is our ranger, definitely. Starting off the mission by missing a 94% shot on a target that doesn't even know he's there. Then missing a 76 follow-up. I think he took four shots this, this mission and missed three of them. Missed a 94, a 76, and then that Overwatch shot on the drone, I think he missed as well. I would like to 
Well, that David Lee, David Lee has earned him a nice uh, sarcastic slow clap. Well then. I got ice pick. Move the furthest. Pick the most shots. Put the most damage. And that was our assault trooper. It's only a matter of time before we regain control of the planet. Tandem warheads. I think I prefer phosphorus if I have to choose one of the two. Cyclic fire is nice. But that really only becomes useful once he has salvo. Letter obviously is great. Reaction. I think I want tandem warheads. Increased range and javelin. I think tandem warheads is more important. It's better for more reliable cover destruction. Precious Illyrium core. Just the one, unfortunately. But welcome back, Waldo. Elite scope. Awesome. We need that. And these recruits, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I might do side troopers. Just bond side troopers to random people. He's back. That's stiletto, lock and load. And then we'll pick up Shredder on him at some point. Unfucking believable. But lock and load for gunners and rangers. Just chef's kiss. I need two days left on that. There's no way we can do that. We are close to being able to quickly send five lads on that network tower. Technical and Ranger, if they can get through their mission without getting wounded. 36 hours. Specialist Gunner, Technical Ranger, and Reaper. So really, this mission here now, I think, is the most important one. Or is it the Extract VIP mission? It's the Extract VIP mission. That's the one with the automated defenses. Okay. Righto. 92 Intel. We need to get up to 105. There's a bit of passive, passive income, uh, intel that is, rolling in from the countries that are on intel gathering. I want to go to Reaper HQ just to hurry it on. New Mexico and West Asia. New Mexico. West Asia. Two faceless, that's fine. I don't even want to do these missions anymore. We don't need the corpses. We just need the faceless to bugger off. Serpent suit done. Uh, get Advent's attention. I don't even really particularly want to do that. I don't feel the need to render any corpses for alloys or Illyrium. I think we're fine. The challenge is Intel. I think I need to end the episode here now. I need to get to work, actually. And if I spin the wheel for any longer, we're going to have to do this mission. So when we come back, we'll be doing this mission. Uh, Mad Doc and Brannigan need to not be injured on this mission. We've got Klima, we've got 
Ishmael, Jahani, and Spock too are going to be interesting to see how they perform. No sharpshooter on this one. That's a revealed start mission. Elite Rocketeer, Lancer, Muton, Codex, Spectre, Heavy Mech, Elite Purifier. Yeah, not too bad. Thanks for watching, friends. I'll see you tomorrow for your re usual daily dose of Long War of the Chosen. The war continues. And I'm just thinking that, like, yeah, make contact with new regions instantly could be super useful. Maybe we just pop down a radio tower there at the end of the month. New Chile? Oh, no, never mind. I'm just going to do... I don't... I'm going to do the radio tower. Never mind. Thanks for watching, friends. I'll see you tomorrow for more Long War of the Chosen.